welcome back to Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Yeah. The Extreme Arena excited for our next event, but now it's time for Cindy to spill her guts. So, Cindy, spill your guts. Cindy, the king. Pin Kenipe is 11 years old. The Kingpin is the top of the heap when it comes to acting and dancing. Cindy loves to display her unique talent, balancing her poodle on top of her head. Well, we'll see if Cindy can keep her balance in our next event, which is called Basic Training. It takes place here in our gym, and our obstacles change every day. So let's take a look at what we got working here today. We got the wall climb, then the tightrope walk over here to the fire pole. That's high up there. And then over to the tire crawl. The cargo net is right over here. They're going to climb up that and then fall into the free fall bag. Mo! Mike, our players will be timed from starting line to free fall. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so John attacking the wall climb. He's got a perfect score going into this event, winning the first two events, and continues to go down the fire pole and then to the tire crawl. He just jumped right into that, folks. I'm surprised those tires were able to hold on to that after he jumped into that with that such strength. He's setting a horrendous pace here. Very, very, very fast, folks. Let's go to Mo and get the official time. John in blue clocked in at 27.6 seconds. Talk about speed. On your mark, get set. All right, let's see if the kingpin can come back right here. She went into this event in third place with 200 points as she goes straight on down the tightrope walk and down the fire pole is next. She needs to go as fast as she can. John setting a very... Very, very fast pace. And Cindy cutting through that tire crawl, pulling herself through. She's at 24 seconds. It doesn't look like she's going to beat the time. but she's going to have to continue attacking that cargo net because she needs second place points pausing right there. We'll see how important that split second pause comes after we see our next player, but let's get the official time on that. Cindy and Red clocked in at 35.4 seconds. Okay, so Taylor the Tyrant now ready. Let's see if he can... On your mark, get set. Let's see if he can attack this thing and get in before 27.6 seconds of time to beat. And he's doing pretty well right here as he makes it across the tightrope rope He's making good time. 10 seconds down the fire pole. Now he's into the tire crawl. Great time right here, 14.6 seconds. Our other players watching with intensity as he attacks the cargo net. 
It looks like he might be able to beat John Stein right here. He's gonna have to get down there fast, folks. All right, let's go to Mo and find out where we stand on that. Taylor in purple clocked in at 26.9 seconds. That puts him in first place. John in blue in second place. Cindy in red in third place. All right, so Taylor taking a first place finish in this one. Look at them attack. Diving in there like Superman. Super Taylor here on Guts the Tyrant as he comes through that tire crawl. Crawling right out of that pad and up the cargo net. Having a little bit of trouble initially. just continues to get his form and momentum working, climbs up that cargo net and then down into the free fall bag for a first place finish worth 300 points. We have Taylor right here. Now, I saw you go across that tightrope walk. You attacked it straight on. What was your strategy in that point? Well, just to get across that and then just dive through the tires. Dive through the tires, save some time, get some first place points. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo! In first place right now is John in blue with 800 points. In second place, Taylor in purple with 700 points. In third place, Cindy in red with 300 points. John and Taylor battling it out for first place, and Cindy's still in this game. Now it's time for Taylor to spill his guts, so Taylor, spill your guts. Taylor the Tyrant Collison is a 10-year-old tennis star. When Taylor's not dominating the competition, he's chasing down tennis heroes. He recently followed Andre Agassi into the bathroom for his autograph. All right, that's Taylor. Taylor's ready for our next event. Our next event, our players are gonna be crossing our pool. But we don't have a boat, this is guts. We got a harness, we got some very tough players and some paddles for our players to make, a way, make their way across the water with rapid shooting through the water. Let's go to Mo and talk about the rules. Mo. Mike, our players will paddle themselves across the pool. They must touch the edge of the pool to end the race, best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so John is off, and John in first place by 100 points over Taylor, who's making a very good time. Our players are gonna have some, our other players are gonna have a tough time meet, meet, matching that time. All right, let's go to Mo and get the official time on that one. That was a beautiful, beautiful display of athletic prowess. I tell you, that was great. Let's go to Mo and find out our time, Mo. John clocked in at 8.8 .8 seconds. 8.8 8 .8 seconds as you see him toweling off right there. And now he will watch our other Competitors as Cindy steps up on the platform. She will be jumping off momentarily, seeing if she can beat the time of 8.8 .8 seconds. They are hanging from that harness. Got a paddle in her hands. And she'll see if she can match her kicking to her paddling. Let's go, Mo. On your mark, get set. All right, and Cindy is off, and she jumps up, and she's making good time. Oh, she making a great time.
time to beat 8.8 seconds. We'll go to Mo and get the official time. Cindy clocked in at 7.8 seconds. 7.8 seconds. She needed to get a first place finish in that, and she's in first place. Right now, let's go to Mo. Looks like Taylor will be starting momentarily. Actually, before we throw to Mo, I just want to say Cindy had 300 points going into this event. A 300 point finish with Ned Porter at 600 points, putting her in a decent position as she goes into the Agro Crag event. So Taylor with 700 points going into this event, 100 points behind John is ready. Let's see if he can be the spoiler. On your mark, get set. All right, Taylor the Tyrant gets in and has some trouble early. He's not kicking his legs as fast as our other players. And he has begun to kick now, but he's already lost the momentum. It looks like Cindy and Dean will take first place in this event. And Taylor will look, looks like he's going to get third place points as he struggles to finish. Does not have a good rhythm down here as he comes across with the finish right there. And let's go to Mo and find out the time. Mo. Taylor in purple clocked in at 20.9 seconds. That puts Cindy in red in first place, John in blue in second place, Taylor in purple in third place. All right, so Cindy's showing everybody how it's done in this last event. Take a look right here as she dives off with good form, strong form, as she begins like a gazelle on water, just moving her way across that pool and putting her paddle on the other side. A fantastic finish on that one. What was, in that last event, what do you think was more important? Was it the, with the legs or the paddle? I think it was both. He just, just went in there, tried my hardest, and didn't it. Okay, and a smile on her face after that first place finish. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. In first place, after our invisible boat event, we have John in blue with 1,000 points. In second place, Taylor in purple with 800 points. In third place, Cindy in red with 600 points. All right, so the Rapids came back and challenged Cindy, and she came back and fought him off. And now we'll see what she can do with the